morning. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, Rio. Rio. Rio's got his toy today. We've allowed him to take his toy out now that um, things are a bit better. We weren't letting him take his toy out while it was uh, <laughs> the height of COVID. But now, uh, now things are getting better. We've, we've said he's allowed to carry his toy. <laughs> Rio. Morning, Mick. He says morning to you and Rio as well. Morning. Uh, so we're going to go show the Ponienti Beach, um, which is open as well. Um, and see what that looks like compared to the Levante Beach um, and just have a have a wander around um, like the Hotel Bali area um, so this is Ponienti it's the um, furthest bit from um, the Benidorm New Town so as you've got the two beaches it's like the furthest along on the Ponienti end so you've got the, the old town in the center and this one's closer to La Cala de Finistra uh, so there's the Hotel Bali there it's the tallest hotel in Europe um, July 3rd is when Mundamar opens um, so soon we'll go there and, and show uh, what it's like in the theme parks and stuff now that they're opening I know some people might not necessarily agree with the theme parks and things like that so we'll show it as an impartial impartial view of what it looks like um, morning Campbell morning Sonia Morning, Darren. So I'm sure you've seen the news that Britons are welcome back to Spain as of uh, Sunday, so the 21st of June. Um, flights are going to commence with Ryanair. So I've had a look and they've got, um, they're on a reduced timetable, um, but there are flights going from, from all the airports that they usually fly from. Um, so yeah, this time next week could be in Benidorm. We're gonna have a wander into Benidorm Newtown and see see what it's like and see if um, it comes back to life with, with the tourists that come. Oh, it was really funny yesterday. <laughs> oh, I've got to say, yes, <laughs> this girl. So on Twitter, the, um, <laughs> on Twitter, the um, British Embassy, right the british embassy had tweeted to say that um you know britons were welcome so british residents um people who've been, who live in britain you are welcome back as of uh sunday like every other european schengen country and somebody replied <laughs> telling the british embassy that they were wrong somebody replied saying wrong and then put a link to a newspaper article and when you click the newspaper article it was from the Citizens Advice Bureau and in big bold letters it said the British Embassy have tweeted that this includes Britons therefore yes Britons will be able to return as of Sunday uh, obviously we don't know the circumstances yet we don't know if you'll have to wear masks we don't know what's happening um, so I personally I'm gonna wait for a bit before I book my holidays to see what happens but can you imagine having the audacity to try and tell the British Embassy? <laughs> now I know why some people tell me why I'm wrong. Because if you're going to have the bravery to tell the British Embassy, the <laughs> how can you have the bravery? Like, if the British Embassy tell you, like... <laughs> No, like they're literally sitting there saying they've spoken to the government directly. And this one woman who doesn't even live here has told the British Embassy they're wrong. Oh. No, this was like direct from the government. Anyway, that was my entertainment for the day. So I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed replying to everybody as well who was telling me I was ridiculous for thinking that UK residents would be allowed back soon and telling me I'm oblivious to what's going on in the world. Um, so I had great fun in replying to all of those with the link where I'd announced that, um, you know, Britons were, were welcome back. So yeah, I had a quite a good day yesterday. <laughs> it was quite fun, wasn't it? It was. We went to the beach with Rio and he was in his life jacket. You might have seen on my Instagram story. Um, anyway, I'm rambling on. Morning, Simon. Morning, Donna. Uh, morning, Diane. Morning, Nick. It's nice and warm today. 
What's the temperature? That's what. I've got to hold, hold on my Siri down, please. you got to press an on. There you go. What's the temperature? Du, du, du. It's currently 24 degrees. Currently 24 degrees. Morning, Elizabeth in the hall. Oh, no, not Elizabeth in the hall. Just Elizabeth. <laughs> Morning, Diane. Morning, Malcolm. Morning, Rita. Morning, Francis. Morning, Margaret. Morning, Iris. So cute, Rio and his toy. Rio loves carrying his toy. He was uh, very put out when we wasn't letting him carry it. Um, he couldn't understand why he wasn't allowed his toy. But obviously we didn't want him to drop it on the floor and yeah. Uh, morning Sarah Jane. Morning Jasmine. Morning Yvonne. Morning Jeanette. Morning Adele. Rio looks like he loves his toy. He does, he really loves his toys. Um, he's one of them like proper, proper, proper loves his toys. Don't you? He has a toy box and he puts his head in and, and chooses which one he wants. And yeah, it's quite cute. <laughs> Morning Sinead in Derry City. Hello from Blackpool, it's our wedding anniversary today. Oh, let's say happy anniversary. Uh, happy anniversary, Shirley. Happy wedding anniversary. Are hey, you having a nice day? So, here's the Hotel Barley. So they're both, um, they are both the hotel, so they've got two of them. So they've got this one and the hill. Oh, oh, problems. Um, so they've got this one, uh, and that's got the spa and the, the um, gym at the top. Then they've got this one. I like the tall one. If you can just see uh, out here, they're rooms that have suites and they have a jacuzzi um, in that window. But for the actual rooms for, um, staying on a holiday in a normal room I prefer this one so if you are staying in the Bali if you stay in a suite that one and I'd have the one with the balcony because they've got really nice um, sun lounges and stuff on there and you get a really nice jacuzzi tub that overlooks Benidorm and it's amazing for sunset or um, in terms of the rooms themselves I liked the lower building um, so yeah that's the Hotel Bali and then you've got the Torre Dorada here um, they're part of the survey group um, they are opening soon and the Calas Marina. So that's the number three bus, that's the one that takes you to the shopping centre. Um, and here you have, so this used to be the Barley's um, games room. Um, that's just a salon de juego, just going through. And there's the White Rose and here's the Calas Marina. Morning, got to go shopping. Enjoy shopping! <laughs> morning you three from Cornwall. Morning Gloria! Morning Tracy! Morning Stan! Morning Mikey! Morning Susan! Uh, morning Lauren Lance, we are excited for this as we're supposed to be staying at the Torre Dorada in August! Oh, there it is! The Torre Dorada um, usually put different lights up as well, so like on Spain Day they light up their balcony and the Spain flag and um, oh, they've done lots of different lights, haven't they, Alex? Christmas yeah, they've had a Christmas one. It says, like, Merry Christmas. Oh, is it Fleet and Harry there? It says, yeah, I think it does. So it goes through and they put, like, lights on the... I don't know if you can see it from inside the room. Has anyone ever stayed? Can you see them lights? I'm always curious to know um, if you can see the lights when they do it. Morning, Anne. Morning. Well dull here in Yorkshire. Looks nice with you. Oh, morning, Jenny. Uh, morning to you all from Scotland. Morning Jackie. Morning Derek. Morning Julie. Morning looks like another glorious day. Buenos dias. Yeah, it's uh, nice this morning. Here's the Hotel Sophia. I don't know anything about this hotel. So, yeah, has anyone ever stayed? I don't even know how much it costs. I don't even know how many stars it is. Um, it's a fairly recent hotel. But yeah, I don't really know anything about that one. Uh, morning Lauren, Alex and Rio and everyone from a dull Sunderland. Oh, morning, Sun uh, morning Sunderland. <laughs> morning Lindsay. Yeah, morning Sunderland. Good morning Sunderland. There he is. Uh, morning, just finished my breakfast in time to come on the walk. Had a good night watching Acer. He was good, wasn't he? And uh, yeah, we were watching last night as well. He told me I'm too old to use the word lol. So I'm not over that. <laughs> I'm gonna hold that. That's yeah. Though we did say some nice stuff about our walks, which was nice. Bless 
him. Uh, hi, Dad. Morning. Morning to my dad. Oh, a bit windy along here. This is the Delphin Tower that's still in construction. And uh, you've got in tempo, which is the one that looks a bit like Lego. Looks like the evil tower. Um, so yeah, if you want to join future walks, I may as well say it while there's not much to see. If you want to see a future walk, just like this post and I'll be able to invite you. Um, so yeah. Oh, we're going on holiday today, aren't we, Alex? Yes, we are. We're going on our holidays. <laughs> we're, we're going on our first holiday since, uh, well, actually since Florida. But our first like time out of Benidorm or out of, the, out of this area since uh, forever, since ages, since lockdown. Yeah. So yeah, we're going, we're going to like stay somewhere. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put some pictures up so you can have like a nosy of what it's like and, and, and see what it's like. I might even put a video, I might even uh, do that. So yeah, we're, we are and Rio's coming. Rio's coming on his holidays. So I'll definitely have to take some pictures of him and um, I'm sure he'll have a lot of fun. <laughs> morning Val, morning Tracy, morning Michael, morning Laurie, morning Lynn, morning Lorna. This is a uh, Calle Oviedo. So a lot of the roads in Benidorm are named after different areas in um, Spain. So you've got like Calle Alfaz and Calle Madrid and um yeah you got lots of different ones named after different places so Oviedo is up in the north and this one's called Calle Oviedo they've got we've even got Calle Benidorm haven't we yeah imagine you live in Benidorm and your roads Calle Benidorm Benidorm <laughs> what's your address Calle Benidorm Benidorm that'd be easy to remember morning Julie hola to you two and Rio from a humid West Yorkshire uh, good morning, Chris. I was like, do I say morning? Do I say hola? Do I say buenos dias? Oh, I didn't know. I was up at half five this morning, weren't I? Yeah. Not good. Uh, morning, Joanne. Morning, Warren. I like how I'm more awake today when I've been up for hours. Yeah, other days I'll be like, getting up at eight. And I'm like, oh, morning. <laughs> Looks a lovely morning in Benners. It is nice, 24 degrees already, um, which is good. So uh, Rio won't be uh, going out after this walk um, well, until we uh, head off for our holiday. Let's go down this one. Yeah. Good morning, lovelies. Morning, Bernadette. Oh, that's what I was going to say. There's been a kickback from one of the political parties in Benidorm. Um, so they're, they're um, not happy with the Visit Benidorm and the Town Hall for, for privatising some of the beach. Um, apparently they're saying it's not fair that um, people have to pay to go to the beach um, and that they shouldn't um, be charging people to, to rent a space on the beach as it's a public property. So yeah, that's interesting. Um, Obviously there are free zones still, um, but the, the argument is that it's not, um, not easy to get one of the free zones, um, and that they're gonna try and be making money by having the, the rental of the sunbeds. So that's interesting to see. So I wonder if there'll be any changes or whether uh, it'll all fizzle out and they'll see that um, because they're renting sunbeds that it's okay, or whether they'll have to offer more free zones I'm not sure, but they were they were quoting some of the laws that state that the beach is public property and that people should be able to to go there and there should be enough for you know more people to have um, free space um, and not have to pay to be there rather than um, paying to rent the sunbed. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens there. Um, it's a it's a difficult one, isn't it? Because they say that well we still need to rent the sunbeds for people there'll be people who want the sunbeds um and that they are offering free zones but the opposition party are saying well you need to be offering more free zones or you need to be saying that um in the blue zone that you've got you can go in there but if you have a sunbed you have to pay five euros or whatever so it's quite interesting to 
to watch that so i'm, I'm keeping up with uh, what's happening with that um that political party um discrepancy that's going on yeah there seems a lot more free yeah a lot more free areas than what there are in uh, levante so in poniente um where you can see that we'll walk down to it where you can see the sunbeds and the umbrellas that's the paid area if there isn't um sunbeds like this just here this means it's free um but you do have to book um, the other thing they were saying is about how, how far away the entrance and exits are on Levante Beach and that it's quite inconvenient for people um, to have to walk further along and um, so yeah, we'll see what happens there. Um, but no other beach is doing this, so Villa Hoyosa and we went to Altea yesterday and their beach is just normal um, and you just go on, you don't need to make an appointment or anything like that. Um, I guess. I know Benidorm has a lot, a lot, a lot more people and a lot more tourists that are going to be coming, so they want to keep on top of it. But I don't know, I think some of it needs to just be down to common sense, doesn't it? And just trusting that people will socially distance. Because um, socially distance is down to 1.5 metres here. Um, it's not the whole of Spain, or I believe it's not yet. Um, but our, our government announced that um, as of yesterday, we would be reducing our social distance to 1.5 metres and that all of our terraces could open at 100%, um, just in hopes to build up the economy and, and uh, yeah, just a testament of how well the, um, the figures are doing. I think there was something, I think there's 60 cases in the Alicante province um, and I think 14 of them are hospitalised, um, which is, it's showing now there's a lot more recovered than, um, than the other way round. So obviously it's, it's obviously it's a very quick moving situation and obviously it's very sad and but it looks like it's a train going in the right direction which is which is the most important thing. Uh, morning Joanne, morning Leslie, morning Marilyn, morning Steve. So here's the bars opening so Deluxe Beach is now open uh, which wasn't before and there's more tables out at Porter's Masai. Yeah, it's nice to be able to see. Um, nice to be able to see things get back together. Uh, so there's um, one of the members of staff. He's who you can uh, sort yourself out with getting a place on the beach. Uh, people have told me that the app's not been working for them. So there's a visit, visit Benidorm app. It's in English and it's in Spanish, and you can switch it to Dutch and uh, you switch it to German and, uh, and French and stuff. Um, apparently, they've not been able to get it to work. So see what happens there. Uh, but you can go up to the man and he can uh, get you an appointment as well. Or the woman, I shouldn't say the man, it was just because he was a man just there. Um, morning Shell, your followers have gone up by 600 since yesterday. Me and your, my two year old watch your lives again this morning. Oh, thanks Holly, flipping it. Can't keep up with them. Um, there I was joking, saying, hey, I might be on 20K by my birthday. Oof, if they keep going like that, I will be. That'd be insane. I um, look at the numbers and it's just mad. Like, I can't comprehend that number. But there was a million people who watched our video last week. A million. That was like, I was working out how many people are from my home city. And I think it was like, what was it? Seven times our home city. It's just crazy. Like, that's just mad numbers. That's a mad amount of people that I just can't comprehend the number. Um, but yeah, it's nice that um, like the regulars get to see and like know your names and chat to you in the morning. Uh, morning, Catherine. Morning, Catherine. Morning, you three. We've had thunder heavy downpours here in Kokevi. Yeah, my mum and dad said that they'd had thunderstorms last night. Apparently it was a good one, like pink sky and all sorts. Uh, morning, enjoying your walk, seeing some places I want to. Uh, I went last year. Oh, fab val. I'm glad that we're able to um, bring it back. Uh, the foot things are still foot things. I mean, what do you call them? The foot cleaner stuff. Um, yeah, they're always on now, so you've not got to touch them. So they stay on. It is seawater, um, so it, it recycles back around. Um, so at least it's not, well, at least it's not water that's being wasted per se. It is cycling back around, which is good. Morning to our favourite guys. How are you both today? Just loving our daily doses from Jamie and Jean. Ah, oh, thank you. We're good. Getting excited for our holiday. Alex has got a bit of work to do. I've got a few meetings and a bit of work to do. And then, yeah, heading off. So we're, we're looking forward to that. Uh, you always get one. You do, don't you? 
Um, we booked to go next June now instead of this year. Still looking forward to that though. Yeah, I think, yeah, I mean, it's, it's totally down to the individual, isn't it? And, like, I'm, I'm really tempted to, to book a flight somewhere just to see what it's like. Um, but also I do want to, I want to wait a couple of weeks and see what happens with like the tourists who come this week and, and see what happens with them because we've not been told whether masks will still be compulsory um, because the first we heard um, it was until the end of the state of alarm and the state of alarm does come to an end on Sunday but he then released um, a press release about the Nueva Normalidad so the new normality um, which said that masks were still going to be advised and so it I don't know if it's advisory or whether it will still be compulsory by law or... So we're just waiting to see what happens really. So I'm, I'm intrigued to see what happens next week. So I think it'll be interesting on maybe next Monday if we go up to the Levante beach again and see what it's like next Monday when the tourists are back um, and then next Tuesday evening because nightclubs are now allowed to open but the dance floor isn't allowed to open. And it makes me wonder if maybe some of the nightclubs will be open down the strip. So it'd be interesting to walk around there too and see if um, see if the tourists make any difference. I was thinking of booking a long weekend at the end of July, but wife said she won't go on a plane. It's packed in, no space, and it's too risky. I think that's the other thing, isn't it? A lot of us are still you know worried about flights. My thing about a flight, um, I mean, we flew back from England to Spain during the state of alarm. Um, before masks were compulsory and stuff and it was very clean on there and everyone was very conscious and I think with the, they didn't put the air conditioning on or anything like that so there wasn't the air blowing back around so I felt like it was cleaner on a plane than like when we've flown normally there was a lot of lot of cleanliness going on and so yeah I'm like in the middle about the flights of what what it'll be like I know that they're, they're doing all they can to keep things at, at tip-top cleanliness so yeah I'm just like intrigued to see what happens just keeping an eye on everybody else really <laughs> uh, good morning Laura Knight so have a lovely day thanks for sharing your lovely walks oh thanks Christine uh, morning Pauline morning Wayne good morning to you all hope you have a good day thanks Gary you too morning Margaret in Newcastle uh, they're saying this morning that Brits going to Spain will have to be quarantined for 14 days. Apparently it's just been announced. Oh, I've not seen that. Um, That's the British side. Isn't it? Is that the British side going home though? Because Pedro Sanchez did say that as of Sunday, there would be no quarantine for all the EU uh, countries that are coming. And then when they said, well, does the EU account for Britain? He said, yeah, yeah, we're, they're still in a transition period. So I'm referring to them as, as EU. They're still in the EU until December. Um, so yeah, I don't. Where have you seen it? Uh, it? It definitely depends on on where you've seen that information. I mean, if it's come from, let's say the British Embassy, if they share it, then yes, definitely. Um, but if it's come from maybe a Facebook page that's not sharing proper things, then maybe not. But yeah, I've not seen it, but not saying it's not true. Uh, I, the only thing I knew was the the quarantine on the way home. Um, not saying that it's not going to be that there's a new announcement I'm not seeing. I mean, I have only just woken up this morning. <laughs> morning, everyone. Thought I'd missed you. Haven't been getting notifications for a while. Oh, no. I think, um, I don't know what happens there. A lot of people end up losing notifications, which is weird. I think on the video, they've got a button that you can click, which says, um, get all live notifications. And if you, if you tick that, it will give you them. So if it's not come up now, if you open another video afterwards, it'll come up with the, the option to, to have notifications. So that should um, sort that out. Morning, Lauren, Alex and Rio. Looks like it's a nice day. It's cloudy here today. I hope the sun comes out. I need to get my garden done. Mr. Rio on the beach. Uh, I've not posted a video of him on the beach yet. I did put on Instagram stories, just um, a little bit of him. He was wearing his uh, fluorescent jacket, which was cute. And he went in the water by himself for the first time yesterday and I managed to get it on video and me and Alex were like, oh, because, I mean, if you've been following me for a while, you know, Rio's quite scared of water. Um, but we've, we bought him a swimming pool and we've been trying to get him to, to get a bit more comfortable because there's a water park for dogs um, not far away from here. So we've been wanting to take him there. So we're trying to get him uh, comfortable with water. So we bought him a fluorescent flotation jacket and he, yeah, he was... Uh, 
he ran in the water by himself. It was super cute. Uh, so I'll have to upload the video to YouTube. I've been told to check my travel insurance to see if it's up to date and valid. Yeah, I think that's a good point as well. I think like it definitely needs to to have a look at your travel insurances and see see what it does cover and doesn't cover. Um, I mean, for all we know, they could be writing something in that COVID isn't isn't part of it because it's something that they know is going on. Um, I know that the FCO haven't updated yet to say that all but essential travel to Spain is advised. Um, so I wonder if they'll update that or, or yeah. It's all just a case of watching and waiting really, isn't it? It's like we've waited for so long, but we had no announcements. Now that the announcements start to come, it feels like it's uh, it feels longer, doesn't it? Yeah. Cause you almost know, but don't. Uh, did Rio get in the sea yesterday without you holding him? He did. And he answered that just before I saw your comment, Donna. You read my mind. Oh, can't see the comments. Let's take my sunglasses on. Morning, Sam. Morning, Anne. Morning, Margaret. First time in Benidorm, stayed there. Ah. Oh. Show some of the view. Love the Grand Hotel by the views are spectacular from the top. Yeah, definitely. If you're not staying at the Barley, you can go up um, to the top and uh, they have some really good views up there. I think it's five euros to go up. Uh, they're not open very often, but they are up there. So they are open at certain times. So if you are around, do recommend going up. Morning, Abby in Brisbane. Amazing, in Australia. That's where I want to go on holiday. <laughs> um, mm -mm. Morning from Newcastle. Morning, Elaine. Morning, Alan. Morning, Catherine. Morning from Northern Ireland. Morning, Christine. Loved my stop there at Torre Dorada. Stopped there twice. Ah, oh, fantastic. Check some more storms after storms in North Wales. Oof. Send some sun our way. Sun, go to England. Here's some virtual sun. The Spanish have got the ump now because the Spanish will have to go into two weeks lockdown when they come over to the UK. So if we were to come over there, we'll have to stay for two weeks, not to mention our government say we still have kind of travel to come there. Mm. Interesting. Makes you wonder why the um, why there has to be a quarantine from Spain when our numbers are super good. But yeah, I suppose it's all about like, containing it. And uh, never been this part. Looks beautiful. Love you. What's bright as the day? Oh, thank you. Morning. I'm a new viewer. Loving it. Ah, oh, welcome, Francisca. Let's see. Oh, your sister's watching. Hi, so. Oh, it's why I'll be watching now. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. further up. Um, Morning Donna. I'm gonna scroll down a few, but I'll read them afterwards. Uh, morning guys, morning Jackie. I think I'd feel, think I would feel safe in bed on, but the prices will rocket. I think I would feel safe. Safe? Is that safe? Yeah, I think so, I can't really um, see the screen. I bet the prices will rocket. Um, I don't know, not noticed any changes at the moment, but I'm not saying that they won't. Um, I'm sure that won't work when all the toys get there. How on earth are you gonna book a space when there won't be enough room? Yeah. Well, they're saying it's open from. I can't, I can't put my sunglasses on because I can't see comments. Um, social distance can't last forever. Well, that's it. Um, we can't do this forever, can we? Um, they're doing nine till nine for the beach, and they're saying that you'd have a time slot and that you can't. Whether that will stick around or whether that's just during stable alarm, don't know. Uh, morning, Mary. How long are you going on holiday for? Just a couple of days, <laughs> so not long. Uh, morning, Lauren, Alex. Lovely to see you both. When will you have the pleasure of getting Alex's surname? Ooh. Well, it's hard work in Spain. I'd have to get a residencia all over again. <laughs> Maybe I'll just start referring to myself in your surname and then just, then no one would know any different, would they? <laughs> um, hi guys, walking around. Are we walking tomorrow? How selfish I am. We'll miss you. Yeah, we're going to walk around tomorrow. We're going to go where we are. We'll show you where we are. So yeah, we're still going to be on tomorrow. Um, mm -mm. Do -do -do. No quarantine in Spain, it's the British going home. But I bet that would change. Yeah, I mean, it, it all depends. Um, it depends it's what happens. It's a fast-moving fast thing. And I things mean, change daily. Thursday so. is when Boris Johnson gives his announcements, isn't it? So who's yeah. to say? I think my friend told me there was 30-something deaths. Maybe she was wrong. I don't know. <laughs> if you're watching, Amy, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, my friend said there was 30-something deaths, um, which is which is going, it, going in the right seem, direction. It seems like it's going in the right direction in the UK now. Um, I bet my eyes are really funny. So, um, hopefully... That means for you guys going 
come in here and then going back, you've not got that two, two week quarantine when you go back. I've got my sunglasses on, I can't see the comments, but I don't have my sunglasses on, I can't read. <laughs> I hope no one took a screenshot then. Because um, morning looks beautiful there. I'm going to put it on this list just so I can hold it closer. Most ex insurance are excluding anything COVID. I can see that happening, definitely. Um, hi, Nick from Mayton. I thought of going into the signal on number 10 bus. Oh. I'm like, oh, hi, it's Nick from Mason. Sorry, I thought I was jumping into someone's conversation then. <laughs> Live music and dancing plus tapas on Sundays. Uh, I do know about the, um, the Signet, but I've not been. Uh, I'll look at a couple more and then we'll have to go to work. Do you two work and live there? Yes, we do. Yeah, got work in a bit. Yeah. Good morning from Melbourne, Australia. I trained in Belgium as an overseas rep in 2007 with air tours. Oh, fantastic. How long is the time slot on the beach once you get one? Not sure. I've not been on the app. Um, I'm, at the moment, I don't think there's much of a time slot because there's not many of us here. Football starts Wednesday. Most games on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Man United used to watch games in the Stratford and in Bunjom. What about everyone else? Yeah, when did you all used to watch football? I know we used to watch it in uh, Seven Stars, but they're not um, here anymore. 38 deaths. All ah, right. Yeah, so, yeah, in the 30s. So I suppose it's much better than it has been. Um, so I guess it all, all happens. Here's Rio laying out on the beach. <laughs> My phone's playing up this one. Just managed to get on. Oh no! Well, we're going to save it and put it onto YouTube. Um, so if you do want to watch it back, it'll be on there. Um, and we will see you tomorrow, um, where we'll be in our holiday location. <laughs> it is in the Costa Blanca, so it's still a Costa Blanca morning walk. Um, yeah, and the place that we've booked looks uh, pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can show you around. What time tomorrow? Um, Nine. Nine. Nine o'clock UK time. Nine o'clock UK time. So same time as today. So we'll yeah. see you tomorrow. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Have a good day. If you want to join future walks, um, yeah. click like on this post and I'll be able to invite you. Um, yeah, I'm on Instagram and all that malarkey. Um, have a super duper holiday. Look forward to you what tomorrow. Can we plan on a holiday with you? Yeah, definitely. I'm just so excited to go in the pool. We can actually go in the pool. Yeah, the, the, I think that's what we're most excited about. This is, is going where we're going. Swim. We can go in the swimming pool. <laughs> and there's like horses and... Goats and stuff and everything. Yeah, so. I'm like so excited to see the animals. Oh, see the animals and, and jumping and in a swimming pool. And jumping in a pool. Jumping in It'll be the first pool. time we've been in a pool this year. Oh, so excited. See ya. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a good one, everyone. Bye. Catch you later. Un beso, hasta mañana.